So I'm originally Scottish, but lived in Australia for a long time. So I also found that uh, doing Asian food, being Scottish, was a hard thing to sell. So being Australian, I thought that's where I gained my reputation, which is where I did. I love traveling Asia, um, and that's a lot of my inspiration uh, is all from the street food. And what I try and do is try and take authentic recipes. We add their authenticity, we add the story behind it, and I think that's the most important thing for me when I learn about cooking or cook is it's about understanding the traditions of how things have happened, because without history and without culture, then you wouldn't have the food that you have today. I know Richard, who's the Datai Langkawi chef, uh, for a long time in Bali. But, uh, I met him last year when I was traveling through Langkawi. You know, I, I stayed at the Datai and I had uh, dinner at uh, the Gulai House, which we're in at the moment. You know, Richard thought it'd be a great idea to do some street food, some Asian food, because that's pretty much what the Gulai is very well known for, and it's, it's one of the, the signature restaurants in uh, Langkawi itself. And so, you know, it was a perfect match for what I do. There's not one type of street food that is better than the other, I think. Um, everything has its own in, in individuality and its own style. Some ha may have more abundance than others, for sure, um, and some may um, be a little bit more narrow. The Datai is very much a conjure up the Orient. It, it's got that kind of magical feel about it. It's in the jungle, the beaches are fantastic. I love the, the classicness of it and the traditionalness of it. So there's a lot of activities for the kids and it's a great place for all families. And I think it's, it's, it conjures up the Orient for me, as my mum would say. This is Will Merrick at the Datai Langkawi.